Right. What's up, y'all? As you can tell, I am fresh out of bed. I took my cap off and I wanted to do a video for y'all because, you know, it's my last day before my spring semester of college starts and I figured I might as well like give y'all a good video before I am stuck doing so much work from classes plus work in general because I'm working part time. Um, also, um, that Fast and Furious video that I was planning to do, I just realized that I may not have time for it and, you know, being the fact that I've been busy with trying to get back in the balance of things, I'm probably going to delay it until probably the first week of April. And I know it's a very long delay, but it'll be a lot more better if I wait until then to do it. That way, you know, it can have like a lot of more, you know, kind of like relevance. I mean, the trailer doesn't come out until, like, well, not the trailer. The movie doesn't come out until April. And we're probably going to get a trailer, another trailer, next month. So if you guys want me to do one for even the first week of April or March, hit me up in the comments. Give your thoughts. Anyway, the point of this video is that there are so many shows coming back and leaving this year. I figured I'd make a video for it. So let me start off with the shows that are coming back. I just got this from like my news feed. First off, Supernatural. I don't know how y'all make it this far to get renewed for a 13th season. The only show I've seen that in is like Grey's Anatomy and that's a whole different like department and genre. Um, right now I'm doing CW shows um, being renewed. This has just been released since Right now is the time everyone's getting renewed or kicked off. I think they just changed the timing for the yearly conference that TV networks have. This one is CW. Um, they haven't released what's getting canceled yet. Anyway, we know for sure Supernatural is coming back. Arrow is getting another season, which is my favorite. Jane the Virgin is coming back, and I'm excited. Um, the Flash, as well as Supergirl, very you know, good shows that keep the, um, I don't want to say DC or Marvel because I know I'm going to get it wrong, but I always confuse the two. Also, um, DC Legends of Tomorrow. So I'm thinking the DC Comics. That's what I'm going with right now. You guys can correct me in the comments. As well as my crazy ex-girlfriend. And I think I already mentioned Jane the Virgin. And y'all, Jane the Virgin, it's a very, I'm very surprised that, you know, I knew they were going to get renewed for season four, but I was surprised at how they're going to work the storyline. Because Jane had the baby at the end of season one. She had, you know, she got married in season two. She finally lost her virginity this season. Thank God. We're thinking, what the heck are they going to do? And so far, they've been, you know, great with the plot. And, you know, it's awesome. Uh, Arrow. I am team Olicity for life. I'm just... I was so sad when she gave him back the ring. I cannot tell you guys how upset I am with it. Um, hopefully we'll see them together. Um, spoilers, y'all. I want to know about this whole on the Laura Miss, because y'all killed her off in, I don't know, like season two or three. Then sh you bring her back. Then y'all kill her off again in the hospital. And now this supposed like doppelganger clone evil person of hers is back. I don't know. I feel like that they're going to be, she's going to be fibbing them for a while. But uh, yeah. So that's a good round of CW shows that are coming back. Now let's go to the shows that are leaving. Here are the five shows that are on their way to leaving. Now, mind you that almost all of these are ending on its own. So it's been, you know, set since like last year before they got renewed. Um, let's start with Pretty Little Liars. Now this show started in 2010 on ABC Family. Now, this is based off the book series, and this is, this has gone on for so long. I loved the show in the beginning. I watched the first four seasons, but after, you know, Ezra got shot, I was just like, I can't do this anymore. And then we, the twist with, um, Charlotte. After Charlotte and the time jump, I was like, I'm done. And, you know, but now we're on the last seventh season um i don't know how many episodes are left um in this you know section of the season but we are expecting you know the last 
to end probably April or May. I'm not sure, but they're premiering this month. Um, on to another TV show, The Vampire Diaries. Now, The Vampire Diaries came in at the height of the Twilight Hysteria. This is when um, probably New Moon came out. And this was insane. Like, honestly, there were so many TV shows and movies were running off of, like, the vampire craze that they only lasted for, like, a good, like, amount of time, probably about a good, like, two or three years. Vampire Diaries have gone on to, from 2009 to 2017. It's gone on that far. Um, with season eight, there have been so many rumors about Nina Dobrik coming back as Elena. But the show creator, Judy, said that all of our questions will be answered. The chapter of the book that it is, the show, will be closed with a good ending. So that's what I'm hoping for. Um, I hope we can get Damon back or have him have some peace. And, you know, Stefan and Caroline. Oh, my God. Don't even get me started with Stefan and Caroline. My goodness, let's just hope that they get back together. And Oh, man. Bonnie, I want to see Bonnie for magic back. Like, why you got to take her magic away? Why you got to take her magic away? That, my goodness, after all you put her through, Bonnie is the character that goes through so much crap and pain than everybody else, like, for real. She's, like, the only vampire in the fam besides, like, Tyler and Matt, like, honestly. And I'm still reeling from Tyler's death, man. That just killed, that just stabbed my heart. Like, the first three episodes, they're killing off everybody. The first one is, um, I can't remember who it was. But the second one, they killed off Sarah, um, Salvatore. Then the third one, they killed Tyler. So, and it got me thinking, they're killing off one person per episode. I'm like, dang. Okay, moving on. Another Supernatural TV show. Teen Wolf is ending after six seasons. This, sem this um, I was about to say semester, but this season, the season of spring. Um, yeah, this also came, you know, a lot of people thought, hey, everyone's doing vampires, let's do werewolves. And they expanded the show so much. I love Teen Wolf. It's one of my favorites. Me and my cousin love watching it. And, you know, I want to see how they do with the ending, because, you know, a lot of stuff has been happened so far this season. A lot of questions need to be answered. Another show that is ending on its own, um, Bones. And I know Bones isn't really, like, a current popular show, but it has been for quite some time. It's made it to 12 seasons, and they are starting season 13. I... I think it's season 12. No, season 12. Um, this is Fox's longest running show. And the fact that it's ending, you know, that's a big game changer. But I feel like the story has gone on so far, so much. And, you know, I feel like they're going to give a good, like, close chapter ending for the story. You know. Um, yeah. Then the last one that I just found out was getting canceled. And I was kind of upset about it because I actually watched, like, the show and I watch it and so does my aunt the show Rain on the CW is getting canceled after four seasons um they're in season four right now and it was just kind of shocking because you know it's such a really good show like they've been bringing in a lot of audiences especially in the second and third season I don't know what the shift was in season four but you know hopefully Maybe it continue on Netflix, you know, maybe they can get some streaming white, streaming rights, you know, I just found out what streaming rights were. Um, hopefully we can see it, you know, pop back up in, you know, the Netflix or Hulu universe, Hulu just got on Golden Girls, you know, they just put up Golden Girls, they'll have it up the day before Valentine's Day, so that's something to look forward to this year, so... That is a little rundown of shows that have been renewed, shows who have been canceled or are ending. This is the, we are in week two of the TV network conference, as I call it, because honestly, they do it a lot earlier in like May or April when it comes to like keeping and canceling shows. So this is only like round one officially round one because this is CW giving off the announcement of like official cancellations um 
Disney Channel will probably have their list done by the end of like March. So right now it's the CW. Um, other networks, big networks that we're waiting on, um, ABC, Fox, um, CBS. Um, we're still waiting on the cancellation list from the CW. I'm really praying that the 100 stays on. I really hope so. They made me wait all the way to February to get this show back on. And it comes back the day before my birthday. And I'm freaking excited. So if you guys have any like ideas of show reviews you want me to do this year, hit me up in the comments. If you have any feelings regarding these TV shows ending, which one's your favorite, what, you know news you want me to go over in the world then hit me up in the comments below if you like this video click the like button if not if not just go to the next ad that's under here so this is your girl simone and peace out signing off more love